Hey everyone, so this video is a nail art tutorial on how to achieve this look here. Now, this was a highly requested video as some of you may have seen these nails in my recent videos. It's a black and white nail splatter nail art. I chose black and white but you can use any colour combination that you want but I will show you how to get this look. Now what I used is a base coat. You can use any base coat but this one is the OPI acrylic nail base coat. The white is white on and it's by Sally Hansen extreme wear and the black is black out and that's also by Sally Hansen extreme wear then you want to use a quick dry top coat I've chosen out the door top coat you're going to need a cosmetics wedge or sponge this is optional depending on your color combination but for the look I'm going for I will be using this today you'll need a straw cut into two halves Depending on how many colours, I'd probably recommend having a piece of straw for each colour so they don't get mixed in together. Some tape and some scissors to cut the tape just to make clean up a little bit easier. So if you are interested in how to get this look, please keep watching. So once you've applied your base coat, you want to apply your base colour. I'm just going to use white as a base because I'm using black and white, so the white will go under both. So once your base colour is dry, next step is going to be a sponge gradient from white to black. This step is optional and depends on your colour choice. I'm doing the sponge gradient so that the colours when you splatter them on stand out a lot more. If you were using say neons over the white base, you wouldn't really need to worry about this step. But if you're using two contrasting colours, this can make them stand out even more. So to get the sponge gradient, what you want to do is get your black and your white and just paint it onto the sponge. Once you've got the colours on the sponge, you can then go ahead and roll it onto your nail. So position it and just roll that on. Now once you've rolled it, just dab it a couple of times to blend in the two colours together. Now it can be a little bit messy when you're doing the sponge gradient, so you will need to clean it up a little bit around the edges, but that's okay. Now you wait for that to dry, and whilst you're waiting for that to dry, just clean up around the edges. So once that layer is dry, you want to cut some tape into two lengths to wrap around the finger. So just cut off a piece for the bottom and a piece to go around the top. And I'll show you how to wrap your finger. Now this you can use when you're water marbling, or with other nail art that can get a bit messy around your cuticles or around the base of the finger. It's really, really easy. So you want to start from your base, just applying the tape to the very bottom of the nail and wrapping it around. This way it will avoid the polish getting on the skin and just making clean up a lot easier. Then you want to line up the tape down the edge of the nail and pushing it in right next to the nail. You then take it around the top so you pull it across and bring it around the other side just like that and push it down. With this bit at the front you kind of pinch it together and fold it over. So now for the splatter part. I've gotten a piece of plastic just out of a makeup palette that I have and just cut a small square of it. You could use a business card or a piece of paper, parts of a tissue box or a cereal box, anything at all. That way you can just dab the colour on top of it so when you're dunking your straw it doesn't get on the table or anything like that wherever you're doing your nails. I'm going to start with the black. And when I splatter it, I'm going to be concentrating the colour on the white part. And then when I do the white, I'll concentrate across the top where the black part is. So you just want to get your black polish and apply a dollop of that onto the film or the box or whatever it is that you're using. So then you get everything ready to go. You dip the straw into the polish and it will create a bubble across the top or the opening of the straw. And that's what you want. So dip it in, get it ready, and blow. Next, you repeat with the white. So 
so grab your white shade and don't worry if you get a big lump like that because we can go over it with the white and just neaten it up as well. So get a big dollop of that white polish, get your new straw, dab it into the white, the same as the black, forming that bubble across the end, as you'll see there, before it pops. <laughs> That's what you need to make the big splatter effect. And then blow. And then turn your nail slightly to get the edges as well. And you just keep going until you get the desired effect that you're going for. So I'm pretty happy with that coverage. But as you can see, it does get very messy doing this technique. So I would suggest laying down a piece of paper or newspaper, even an old magazine on your work surface, just so it doesn't make a mess. And you can see why we use the tape around the nails. It just makes cleanup a lot easier. So you can take off the tape and then we'll apply a top coat after we've cleaned up around that area. So to take off the tape, it's really easy. You just start from one end, pull it around, and then you take off the base tape, like that. Now just clean up the bits that you need to and then apply a top coat. So the tape's off and I've cleaned up around the area, so I'm just going to apply my quick dry top coat to seal in that pattern. So that's the finished look there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learnt something from it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And also, if you do try this look yourself, please leave it as a video response because I love to see people's different nail art techniques and their looks that they create. Hope you guys enjoyed this again and I will see you in the next video. Bye!